I've put the first coat of the bright side medium blue on the port and starboard sides. This is first coat and I've got the green frog tape that I used to cut the line between the top which is going to be the medium blue and the bottom that's going to be the white and I've gone ahead and sanded this side right here so getting ready for a second coat of paint and I just used 220 grit sandpaper uh, I used a sanding block just one of the soft spongy ones and I did use a sanding block a little bit but boats have so many soft edges to them rounded edges it's better to use something that you can get around it's not a very flat surface in many places so we're gonna go and sand the other side and use the soft block to sand up here in the corners where it's a little harder to get to and I'll turn it on its side to get the edge next to where the tape is make sure I got that And I can use the whole block on its side to get the main part. I'm not trying to take off the paint necessarily, I'm just trying to get it prepped for the next coat. And I'll do this part right here. I'm just using the sanding block, the soft sanding block. Basically trying to get the sheen off so that the second coat will apply nicely. I do like using the sand, the soft sanding block. It conforms to the all the different spots on a boat that you have on a boat versus a flat surface. So that's how we're going about sanding it. Then I'm going to run some thinner over it and then start with the second coat. I wasn't 100% satisfied with the sanding job that I did using the soft block. So I went back, I've been going back. This is a hard block sanding block. And I feel like I'm doing a much better job using this overall. There is some flat surface to this boat on the sides, This do, doing the port this time. and. I do like what I'm seeing using the block hand sandpaper. Uh, it's 220 is what I'm using. I'm using 220 sandpaper. I hand sanded using the soft, soft foam sandpaper and just uh, cutting a piece and using in my hands. I'm going to go ahead and use the, it's a typical, it's a kind of a rubber uh, sanding block. I've got 220 because I, I really want to get a little better job here on this side. 
and using this I feel like I'm gonna get this I used one uh, brand new on the other you can already see how much has come off just put a new new piece of sandpaper on this side and what I'm gonna do next is I'll use the thinner to just kind of clean the sides before I repaint I wanted to get a second coat on today but I can't because the temperatures not high enough the temperature needs to be about 50 degrees or more and right now it's right at 50 degrees so I'm gonna hold off on painting the second coat for another day but in the meantime I can make sure I've got this sanded correctly feeling much better about this sanding this a second time might even go back and catch it a third time just to make this surface smooth and as prepped as possible for the second coat this is where you saw me paint the other day a little bit on the shiny side in a couple of places as well and I can look up the side and look for shiny spots that maybe need a little bit more sanding for the most part that looks pretty pretty well roughed up as my dad used to say some shiny right here might need to get another fresh sanding on there I think I will 